Welcome to C.S. Lewis Life Lessons Men Learn to Late in Life. Christianity, if false, is of no importance, and if true, of infinite importance, the only thing it cannot be is moderately important. Aim at heaven, and you will get earth thrown in. Aim at earth, and you get neither. If you look for truth, you may find comfort in the end. If you look for comfort, you will not get either comfort or truth, only soft soap and wishful thinking to begin and in the end despair. There are two kinds of people, those who say to God, that will be done, and those to whom God says, all right, then have it your way. God cannot give us a happiness and peace apart from himself. Because it is not there, there is no such thing. I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. Look for yourself, and you will find in the long run only hatred, loneliness, despair, rage, ruin, and decay. But look for Christ, and you will find him, and with him everything else thrown in. Friendship is unnecessary, like philosophy, like art. It has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things that give value to survival. Failures, repeated failures, are finger posts on the road to achievement. One fails forward toward success. If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. Courage is not simply one of the virtues, but the form of every virtue at the testing point. If you read history, you will find that the Christians who did most for the present world were precisely those who thought most of the next. It is since Christians have largely ceased to think of the other world that they have become so ineffective in this. We all want progress, but if you're on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. In that case, the man who turns back soonest is the most progressive. Literature adds to reality. It does not simply describe it. It enriches the necessary competencies that daily life requires and provides and in this respect, it irrigates the deserts that our lives have already become. We are what we believe we are. The safest road to hell is the gradual one, the gentle slope, soft underfoot, without sudden turnings, without milestones, without signposts. Some people feel guilty about their anxieties and regard them as a defect of faith. But they are afflictions, not sins, like all afflictions. They are, if we can so take them, our share in the passion of Christ. No one ever told me that grief felt so like fear. If the whole universe has no meaning, we should never have found out that it has no meaning, just as, if there were no light in the universe and therefore no creatures with eyes, we should never know it was dark dark would be without meaning. Of all tyrannies, a tyranny sincerely exercised, for the good of its victims may be the most oppressive. Joy is the serious business of heaven. The task of the modern educator is not to cut town jungles, but to irrigate deserts. A man can no more diminish God's glory by refusing to worship him then a lunatic can put out the sun by scribbling the word darkness on the walls of his cell. Miracles are a retelling in small letters of the very same story, which is written across the whole world in letters too large for some of us to see. Affection is responsible for nine-tenths of whatever solid and durable happiness there is in our lives. Miracles do not, in fact, break the laws of nature. It may be hard for an egg to turn into a bird, 
It would be a jolly sight harder for it to learn to fly while remaining an egg. We are like eggs at present, and you cannot go on indefinitely being just an ordinary, decent egg. We must be hatched or go bad. Part of every misery is, so to speak, the misery's shadow or reflection, the fact that you don't merely suffer, but have to keep on thinking about the fact that you suffer. I not only live each endless day in grief, but live each day thinking about living each day in grief. History isn't just the story of bad people doing bad things. It's quite as much a story of people trying to do good things, but somehow something goes wrong. You can't get a cup of tea big enough or a book long enough to suit me. When Christ died, he died for you individually just as much as if you'd been the only man in the world. An explanation of cause is not a justification by reason. Has this world been so kind to you that you should leave with regret? There are better things ahead than any we leave behind. Satan, the leader or dictator of devils, is the opposite, not of God, but of Michael. The future is something which everyone reaches at the rate of sixty minutes an hour, whatever he does, whoever he is. I gave in and admitted that God was God. Nothing that you have not given away will ever be really yours. I think that all things, in their way, reflect heavenly truth, the imagination not least. If we cut up beasts simply because they cannot prevent us, and because we are backing our own side in the struggle for existence, it is only logical to cut up imbeciles, criminals, enemies, or capitalists for the same reasons. Even in literature and art, no man who bothers about originality will ever be original, whereas if you simply try to tell the truth without caring to pence, how often it has been told before, you will, nine times out of ten, become original without ever having noticed it. I sometimes wonder whether all pleasures are not substitutes for joy. Eros will have naked bodies, friendship naked personalities. With the possible exception of the equator, everything begins somewhere. Don't use words to beg for the subject. Don't say infinitely when you mean very, otherwise you'll have no word left. When you want to talk about something really infinite, the real problem is not why some pious, humble, believing people suffer, but why some do not. Thirty was so strange for me. I've really had to come to terms with the fact that I am now walking and talking adult. Let's pray that the human race never escapes from earth to spread its iniquity elsewhere. The lion all began with a picture of a fawn carrying an umbrella and parcels in a snowy wood. This picture had been in my mind since I was about sixteen. Then one day, when I was about forty, I said to myself, let's try to make a story about it. Nothing is more dangerous to one's own faith than the work of an apologist. No doctrine of that faith seems to me so spectral, so unreal as one, that I have just successfully defended in a public debate. We must show our Christian colors if we are to be true to Jesus Christ. Reason is the natural order of truth, but imagination is the organ of meaning. There is no uncreated being except God. God has no opposite. I'm tall, fat, rather bald, red-faced, double chin, black-haired, have a deep voice, and wear glasses for reading. This is one of the miracles of love. It gives a power of seeing, through its own enchantments, and yet not being disenchanted. Always prefer the plain direct word to the long, vague one. Don't implement promises 
but keep them. The long, dull, monotonous years of middle-aged prosperity or middle-aged adversity, excellent campaigning, whether for the devil. Humans are amphibians, half spirit and half animal. As spirits they belong to the eternal world, but as animals they inhabit time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.